Hey, what's up? I am your host, JR Bradley, and this is another special episode of Groove and Move with my co host. Hey, y'all, it's Erica J. You already know. And we got two special guests, Mr. Robell, aka Mr. Flyer Than You, and we got DJ Lex on the ones and twos. Welcome to the show, everybody. What's, what's good, y'all? Awesome. What's All right, good, y'all? All right, so with this brother right here, man, we and him, we went to, te- I went to Texas Southern with this brother. He graduated in 2016, got his bachelor's, and he went back. Got his master's in 2018. I have a question. Y'all knew each other while y'all was in? It's something like something that. Like we that. had yeah. mutual yeah. friends, mutual okay. friends, you know. Okay. Mutual really similar circles. Okay. Yeah. Similar circles. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, with this brother, he started his own clothing line. It's flyerthanyou.com. He has his own, you know, special thing. Flag football, TSU takeover. Definitely. Where the man who started Spot on Sports was demoted. From that team. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tony, I had to get you. Had to get replaced, man. Yeah, he had to get re- replaced. But I call this man Big Smooth when he's at the quarterback position, you know. Like, man, what made you start the flag football? I mean, uh, my whole life, man, I just re- been real big on sports. Um, got to college, tried to walk on. Um, the coach at TSU kind of gave me a hard time when it's a smooth process. Okay. Um, seen the post for flag football. Me and my partners just signed up and played one year. Is that, when, it. that when Tony tried to do yeah, it too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, oh. Tony played the year before I played. So he oh, played. Um, they were they sucked and they lost oh, a lot of games. Makes sense. Makes so sense. he called me and was like, Robel, like we really need you. Like we're trying to win. We need a quarterback. Oh, okay. He came, he came in there taking over. I came and I, and I saved the day. Like, yeah. I saved, saved the day. Changed the name to Takeover. And it's been <laughs> history ever since. What was man. the name before? What was the name before Takeover? I'm not sure. Maybe the Dirty Birds or something. The dirty Birds. Something. What? No is wonder. That? No wonder why Tony Monk was demoted. No wonder. Sorry. You know. I had to come in, revamp, and get us some new uniforms, some new players, and you know we've been traveling the world ever since. Okay, because hey. the last time I uh, seen you guys, you, we, we we was in Austin, yeah. and you guys you was doing the tournament. Mm-hmm. There. Yeah, we were in Austin. You um, guys almost won. I was there. I was witness to it. Yeah, y'all was blowing teams out like <laughs> seventy something to twenty. Yeah. You know, had Tony on the sideline wishing he could play. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I. So when's the next tournament or something so we All can right. go? So our next tournament is going to be um, actually at the end of the month. It's going to be in Houston at Houston Sportsplex. It's okay. a big um, big uh, city tournament. It's actually a qualifier for the uh, AFFL, which is the American Flag Football League, which is the professional league that play against Michael Vick and Ocho Cinco and Ooh. those guys. So if we win, um, we win the whole thing. We win up to a million dollars. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So See, I mean, we definitely trying to ball, See, trying to get this money. I should, I should have joined flag football. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. Um, there's a 12 man roster. Okay. And we split that a million um, by 12 people and the coach. So 13 ways. All right. That sounds like so, okay. yeah, that, that, that does. All right, so what made you uh, start your own clothing line and stuff, man? I've been, you know, I've been watching, I've been seeing it. You know, you got a lot of people that's that's dying to get that flyer, that flyer mm-hmm. tees, and flyer hoodies and everything. When can I, can I get a discount or I something? I got you. I got everybody here for the discount, man. Spot right. on Sports is family over right, here. Man. Yeah, you know, I'm trying, trying <laughs> but to But honestly, man. Cheap. Um, I started doing the shoes. Um, I, well, I always been uh, like real hard, real, real tough on shoes. I love shoes, man. And um, maybe around my sophomore year of college, um, I started buying extra shoes to sell them so I can get mine for free. Okay. okay. So it wasn't even trying to make money at all uh, in the in the initial stage. So um, I was just trying to get my shoes for free. I was a broke college student, you know, I tried to make sense, it happen, trying sense. to stay fresh. Yep. You know, um, end up making a little money, and I realized that I can make more money. So I took it serious. Um, Started doing a lot of shoes, um, building up my stock and building up my portfolio and my uh, clientele. Um, but a lot of a lot of my friends were asking how they can support, um, even though they didn't want to buy like shoes. Yeah. So I decided to make um, clothes and the shirts and the hoodies have been blowing, been blowing up, man. It's been crazy. So what's the price sales on them shirts? Man? Well, the shirts are twenty five and the hoodies are thirty five. Okay. Yeah, we do yeah, I heard that right. We got a good price. Many now. different colors, man. If you want custom colors, it's about a week turnaround. We can do custom colors, and uh, we working on a lot of stuff, man. Okay. Okay. So you have shoes. You mm-hmm. sell. You mm-hmm. have your. Um, Apparel that you sell mm-hmm. now. You have another end ending to your brand is the lifestyle. So what's mm-hmm. the lifestyle part? Um, the lifestyle means it's it's just I'm just promoting streetwear, promoting sneakers. Um, I I personally I work at Texas Southern in a semi-professional environment. I still manage to wear sneakers every day. I might throw on sneakers and a button down. Yeah. Maybe some Jordan ones and a polo. But I'm real big on sneak sneaker culture and just um advancing that movement, man. A lot of people. 
um, are afraid to wear sneakers in certain environments, but I wear some sneakers anywhere. I throw in the tux and some J's. Yeah. Uh, when I graduated my master's, I had a fly suit <laughs> and some Jordan yeah. ones, yeah, man. Like, like, hey, yeah, cause cool. <laughs> yeah, that's just my theme. I love shoes. Yeah, so cause... you know, like owning your own brand is always you always have your ups and downs. Mm -hmm. You always have your tough spots. So mm -hmm. what's been like a crazy experience, or maybe just even a struggle that you had to go through to make your brand it what it is today? Um, honestly, um, just me personally, I when I first started making the shirts and the hoodies and things, I was only making stuff that I personally would wear. Like literally, it started yeah. with me uh, making a hoodie for myself. Okay. People started asking about it. Uh, people started asking for different colors, and it kind of just blew up from there. So I wouldn't necessarily make or produce anything that I wouldn't wear. So um, it's just really my personal style. I'm just kind of trying to spread it out to everybody. Um, okay. But I mean, as far as struggles, um, I wouldn't necessarily say I had any struggles. I had some mishaps. Mm -hmm. um, I had a big box of merch, a bunch of hoodies, a bunch of tees. Um, someone actually broke into my car and took like wow. all of my merchandise. Wow. So, I mean, you fall off, but you know, it's a blessing. Yeah, it's it's a cool, blessing man. End, man. It's cool. Somebody needed more than I did. Right. All right. So, what is the meaning behind Flyer? Um, honestly, uh, when I first started my Instagram account, um, I was looking for just a way to include Flyer in my name. This is like 2011, maybe 2010. And um, the regular way of spelling Flyer was taken. Okay. So, I just added the two E's and the two R's, and it just kind of stuck with me. So, I mean, initially, it didn't have a meaning. But um, I guess now it just means just do it, do it bigger, do it better, do it your way. Um, yeah, just okay. not a regular fly, just add a little more to it. Just fly it and fly. Yo, lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay, lifestyle, okay. man. All right, so you know, we got a new, we got a game. It's okay. called what grinds, your, what grinds Your Gears. Okay. And I'm going to start it off. All right. So you know the talk has been about with Dallas Cowboys. The big talk is what is that means? Like, what, it, what do you think? He should be paid. What is his worth? Is it 25 and up or is it 25 below? I mean, to me, I feel like Dak hasn't proven himself to get these top, top, top dollars. Me, me Don't get well. me wrong. Um, me he's definitely well. a solid quarterback, but he's like the top of the middle of the pack. Um, I feel like he has a little more winning he needs to do, um, a little more clutch moments. Okay, but when you say that, though, he has more wins than Carson Wentz. Not he has sure. more wins than a lot of these quarterbacks in the league, though, as I mean, well. Yeah, he does have more wins than Wentz, but um, I mean, Wentz did face an ACL injury. That's not a, that's not a that's not a light injury to play with. I Man, he was thirteen. He was like twelve and one before he got hurt, or eleven and two before he got hurt yeah. on his way to win the MVP. So I mean, without the injury, there's no telling where Carson Wentz could be. But um, I don't know. I like Dak. Dak is Dak is solid. He's solid, but. I'm just not sure on the price range right now. I mean, okay. he's, he's, I'm a winner, man. You so gotta win. You, so you saying we should pay him like what, 22, yeah, between, something like that yeah, a year? between 20 and 23, something like that. So why don't he don't take that though? Why don't he say, you know what, I deserve more than that? I mean, I don't know, man. It, it, negotiations comes into play at all times, but I mean, I don't know, man. If he feels like he's valuable, that's between him and his agent. But I, I personally wouldn't pay him that much. Okay. <laughs> like, I feel you. Because I, I wouldn't either, though. I'll pay him. Me, at first, I told him I'd give him 17 five. I feel that. But, you know, well, we're in today's age now where they feel like they want to get paid more. Mm -hmm. So, I'm thinking more like a 22, yeah. 23 or something like that for me. I mean, he's a starting quarterback. I mean, um, he's in a big market. So, I mean, I feel where he's trying to demand his price range. I feel it. He's, he's in demand. I mean, any other team would definitely die to have Dak Prescott. He's definitely better than a lot of QBs in the league. So, I mean, he has his leverage. So, he, it'll probably work out in his favor. Oh, yeah. Well, you're right. You're right. So, All right. So, what grinds my chains is, okay, I'm a female athlete. Mm -hmm. I used to play basketball all through college. Okay. And I think that they should be paid the same amount as men. Mm -hmm. Like, we do what? What is it that y'all do that's different? I mean, we dunk for one. <laughs> we do too. Yeah. So yeah, they, I mean, we, 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 we do too. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not coming in there <laughs> doing three sixties. We can behind the behind the back and stuff like that. I know like y'all seen my girl Brittany Griner. I know y'all seen my girl she, Candace Parker. Brittany I know y'all seen like come on now. Yeah, Candace Parker. That's OG. That's OG like that. right there. Okay, so why are we not getting paid the, more, the same amount? I mean, honestly, I feel like um, women do deserve more. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily say equal. And I'm not saying like they, um, they're they not equally important. 
but just the NBA market compared to the WNBA market is just two different brackets. Yes. Um, they definitely should be paid more. I definitely should be getting paid more than forty and fifty thousand. That's yes, ridiculous. That's a teacher's salary. I agree. I agree. That is ridiculous. These women are generating way more money um, through ticket sales and jersey sales and concession stands, hot dogs, beers. Man, they definitely should be paid more, but I wouldn't say equal. But and also I, to I back up on that, it's like y'all only play during the summer. Okay, it's we, a short. It's a short schedule a for short y'all. Schedule. Okay. It's like what, 19 games? The only reason why we games? play in the summer is because we have to work. If we want to make good money, women, WNBA players have to play basketball year around. They have to go True. overseas. So the overseas. Okay, so y'all get, all, y'all get paid overseas, though. Overseas money is way that. better why than over here. Why do we have here? to do that? Why can't we change it into make ours longer months as well? I mean, why y'all got to go, go, go to the commission on that one. You got to go to the commission on that one. I can agree with that. Um, some of the some of the women's basketball players do play overseas a lot. And just like the previous MVP and finals MVP, Brianna Stewart, she yes. just went over there and tore ACL tore or Achilles ACL. or something. Exactly. And this is the best player. This is the face of the WNBA trying exactly. to make some money for her family and now she can't play for a whole year. Because so, we have to do work double that's true. just to get the amount that we desire. That's true. I mean, that's true. I mean, I, it's, it's unfortunate. Like, like just from an athlete's perfect perspective, um, they definitely deserve it. I mean, they work hard. They train just like everybody else. That is true. Um, that's true. They play hard. It's, it's, it's not an easier game for them or anything. So, I mean. The, just the exposure alone. Yeah. Men get more exposure than the women do. That's just true. That's true. I, I can't. I'm not. If it was up to me, you guys would it's get paid society. as well. It's but it's, it's hard. Like it's we, hard. We can be. We can get as many endorsements as a man can. Yes. Like it's just not available or or getting glamorized as much as a man. I agree. I agree with you. I agree. All right, so DJ Lex, you got a question too? What's you look like you, you yeah, look like you over there bothered by something. Erica, that was a really good one. And you know what? I just went to a uh, WNBA NBA game uh, over there at UTA because you know that's where the girls yeah. play. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what's the team, y'all? Oh, uh, Dallas, Dallas uh, Wings. Wings. Wings yeah. Come on, y'all acting like y'all don't even know. Wings. Okay. Right there. I mean, yeah, I just know Scholar Diggs. They got Scholar Diggs. I just know oh, yeah, Scholar Diggs. That's all I know. <laughs> Okay, but um, you had a really good point because when I looked it up and saw that they only make fifty thousand a year, yeah. baby, that grinded my chains. Okay, <laughs> because I was like, we over here risking our bodies, our whole lives out here trying to play for y'all. And I think the part that really got me was uh, the fact that we could get paid an equal amount, but I mean, we're not even put out there to even be like that. You see where we playing at? We playing at UTA. That's true. We playing at University. We don't even have our own like little stadium, a little nothing, I a mean, little court, nothing. Y'all can share it with the Dallas Mavericks. Y'all can share it. But they don't even market us like that. They don't even market us enough to even be like that. They market the Dallas Stars than they more than they do us. That's a hockey team. That's, that's what different. I'm saying. That's different. No, but they mark. We know about the Dallas Stars though. Name somebody that's telling me about the Dallas Wings. Nobody. I, I, nobody. Nobody. Nobody talking about my. Ain't nobody talking about them. I can't. Oh man, that's a really good one. So Thank that's what I had to say about that. <laughs> um, like something for me. Oh man, that was such a good one. Um, I'm just gonna say that Dirk. Uh, retired? He's retired. So and I've been knowing Dirk ever since <laughs> I can remember basketball. <laughs> yeah, please, man, please, so I'm like, man. dang, I can't look out on the court and see Dirk no more. Like, y'all got retired tired the numbers. They showed mad love for yeah. him. Though. They did. Nah, they they did. did. I think they gonna, uh, Mark Cuban did say he's going to build a statue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you got to show love. Sure. You got to show love. To. If that ain't a ride or die play, I don't know who is. But my thing is, okay, what the statue gonna be? Is it gonna be his uh, post fadeaway? It gotta be the one leg fadeaway. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! The one leg flamingo shot. That makes sense. Okay, <laughs> you okay. got to. Okay. That's what I got, y'all. That's what I got. All, All right. right. But so, you got another game for us, don't you? Ooh, I do. Ooh, I do. I do. Yeah. Um, that's what I got. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. So, Robel, I heard that you know about the sports baby. Yes. Yeah. I know. You know how to get game. down. Yeah, Am I right? Or right? Am I right? Just a little bit. Oh, okay, a little bit. okay. We got a trivia game. Okay. So y'all ready? Y'all got the buzzers ready. Oh yeah, yeah. Are y'all ready? Hey, don't don't cheat me out. You hear my boy on young, right? <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. We open up now, if you get the question, wrong or right, we're about to see what this is. All right. Mm. Let's turn it up a little bit. Mm. Okay. That's wrong. That's wrong. Okay. All right. Uh right. 
Let's go hear that a couple times, all right? Cool. That's cool. We'll all right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <sighs> Which team participated in four consecutive Super Bowls from 1991 oh, to 1994 and lost them all? You cheating? You didn't answer? I mean, yeah, you cheating. I, I, I already know the answer, but I already know the answer. Let's go ahead. Go ahead. You said you know. All right, you're in the point of the line. Okay. Well, who is Buffalo Bills? Whoa! Buffalo. Buffalo. Bills. I didn't even have to say the answer choice. Hey, I, 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 I know my sports. I didn't even have to say the answer choice. Don't try to get all crazy <laughs> around here since we got a, a guest DJ. <laughs> like, you need to wait your turn. Right. 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 For real, wait till I finish the question. I didn't even get a chance to read the answer choices. Let's be fair. <laughs> well, you're going to be disqualified now. You're going to be disqualified. I want some coconut or something. I'm good with that. I'm good. I ain't tripping. All right, y'all. Number two, here we go. Which is the only team to play in every World Cup soccer team oh, tournament? Mm. I'm going to do it again. Mm -mm. Say that one more time. Which is the only team to play in every World Cup soccer tournament? Wait a minute. <laughs> a, Brazil. B, Argentina. C, Barcelona. And D, Australia. Go ahead, Rebel. Argentina. Uh, let's see. Oh! Next up, no. Who next? Who next? Read them one more time. Read them one more time. Okay. Now nah, she probably you want me to read the question as well. No, no, no. Just, just the answer me. choice. She hey. Hey. Brazil. Be fair. <laughs> B. Argentina. C. Barcelona. And D. Australia. Barcelona. Let's see. Oh. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Brazil, ain't Yeah, what is Brazil? Okay, we yeah, got it. Yeah, I should it. <laughs> I'm two, two, two and up right now. Uh, Let's keep it going. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Okay, here we go. This is my baby daddy right here. Oh, oh, oh number three. Right there. Yeah, I know he like a little chocolate. Right. That was, you didn't know? Uh, okay, let me tell you. Dirk, baby. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Now nah, he got a wife, but okay. Dirk Nowinski oh. and LeBron James have both cemented themselves inside the top 10 NBA All Star scoring list. Which one of these players is also in the top 10? A. Oscar Robertson. Or Robertson. Oscar Robertson. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, y'all. I just know Shaquille O'Neal would just be. <laughs> C is Elvin Haynes, and D is Tim Duncan. All right, who is Shaq? <laughs> no, I lied, I lied, I lied. You been getting on my nerves the whole time. <laughs> it's right, it's right. He got your kids. Don't cheat me. Ooh, you was feeling some type of way. Don't cheat me, bro. Don't cheat me. I had to mess with you. <laughs> Back to it, you know. All right, so we got another game, Miss Erica. All You're right, gonna we got a us, new huh? game, y'all. This one, this episode, it's called Guess the uh, Guess Our Sports. Okay? okay, so I'm gonna name three athletes, and you're gonna guess between soccer, hockey, baseball, or UFC as to which sport they play. Okay. 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 okay first name is Joey Voto. Ooh, that sounds like hockey to me. That's baseball. It sound like soccer. Which one you say? Baseball. Baseball. I say soccer. Which, Which one, one is it? Uh-oh. It is baseball. <laughs> it's Joey Vato. Oh. See, yeah. Yeah. That's my boy. <laughs> oh, what's this one? All right, next one will be Reggie Cannon. Oh. That's that oh. Oh, hold up. This bean done got me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what which one? Reggie Cannon. Um, oh, Lord. he sound kind of African American. I'm gonna go basketball. <laughs> <laughs> you only got four categories. Oh, what was the category? Baseball, hockey, soccer, or UFC. I'm gonna go UFC. Mm. I'm gonna go uh, baseball. Yeah. Hockey. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it was hockey? No. No. Nah, well, uh, uh, golf. Soccer. Soccer. Oh, yes, yeah, another one, my brother. Come on, both y'all need to go. Oh, uh, I want you. I got it right. It said whoever got it wrong, mine was right this okay, time. Okay, I took like too much time. All right, the last one, the last one I got for y'all is Eddie Shore. 
That sounds like a golf player to me. <laughs> That's not even the category. Y'all keep saying the category is not there. That sounds like a Baseball, golf Baseball, soccer, hockey, or UFC? I'm going to go UFC. I'm going to go baseball. The correct what? answer is hockey. We eat y'all beans. Okay? Cool. What? Beans. But what is this? Yeah, y'all got some BS going on over here. It's okay, y'all. Uh-uh. What? Uh -uh. what was that one? Uh -uh. Oh, a milk. Mm-mm. Why would they make something like this? <laughs> I think I got a, I got a dead fit. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I, I want to thank our guests uh -huh. for being here, Mr. Robel. Y'all did, like, y'all, uh -huh. I won. Okay? Don't even think about Ooh. it. Okay? You won? I won. How? No, I'm still 3-0. and oh. Well, I'm 3 I'm and 2 what? right now. No, it was three and two. Yeah, I'm three two and two. three. That's cool. You zero oh and five. No, mm -hmm. I think I won. That's what it sound like. I think I won on something. One of these games. Mm -hmm. no, I, don't I, think so. I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember that. Five. But like I said, I want to thank you oh, wow. uh, for being here, for rocking with us, for uh. chilling with us, and showing us your merchandise and everything like that. Oh yeah, before you go, would you like to? Can you just show us what you got over there? I mean, these shoes. I'm trying to get trying to get these blues and Air Maxes. <laughs> I want a fly shirt, and okay. I want them Texas Southern. But first, tell people well. how they can reach yes, you. Steve. Please tell the people Contact how they can reach you. you. So you can follow me on all social media at Flyer than you, F L Y E E R R underscore T H A N Y O U, and my website is FlyerKicks.com. F L Y E E R R K I C K S dot com. All right, y'all. Go check him it. out. Check him out. Please go check out his merchandise. He got some great merchandise. He got us for the discount. I don't know about y'all. But, <laughs> but please come again. This has been Groove and Move with special guest Robel, my co-host, Miss Erica J, and a new great DJ, DJ Lex on the ones and twos. Shout out to Spot On Sports, where we're not just accurate, but we're well, spot on. Hey. <laughs> And, and shout, shout out to, to my girls, Jiffy with J-Sage. J-Sage. Shout out to Tony Monk. And this has been another great episode of Groovy Move. Peace. Alright, so we have um, Robel here. He's gonna show us his merch, show us what he's what is possibly on his site and how you can get it and all his contacts. Yeah. All right, so um, as far as shoes, guys, I bought a couple of the most, like, I guess, highly coveted shoes. Let's start here with the Jordan 3s. Um, the free throw line have the red stripe on the bottom. So if you know about um, Michael Jordan, when he went did the uh, dunk contest, he jumped from the free throw line. This is a special edition for when he stepped on the line, so they did the clear bottom with the, um, with the red stripe right here. This is a collaboration um, with Jordan and the Cause brand that make the uh, Cause statues. This is the black pair that have a great pair as well. This is probably one of my favorite shoes in my collection. Um, now these right here, they, those caught my attention. These are some weather spoons. These came out in um, 2018, I believe, for Air Max Day. Um, okay, okay. Highly exclusive. Shout out to Tony for actually helping me secure these. Um, I actually won a raffle out here in Dallas, but I couldn't come and get them, so um, Tony came and scooped them up for me. Everybody loves the off whites, off white oh, yeah. Chicago, you know, the uh, yeah. the OG That's team. Yeah, you know, everybody loves these with the Virgil. Shout out to Virgil. Um, also, we, we can find like old shoes. This pair is brand new. Um, it came out in 2009, though. The Raging Bull Fives came out in the pack with the black pair. Um, it's another dope shoe. And um, everybody loves Travis Scott. Yeah. This is his blue pair, Travis Scott 4. He has a pair of ones coming out um, on May the 3rd. So those are going to be highly exclusive as well. Um, as far as these, can I say the date today? The date is uh, 420. These don't come out until um, May the 4th. So, I mean, we get stuff early. It's two weeks early. I mean, I, this, this could very be yours exclusive. If you need. Very, very exclusive. Very. Um, I got my hoodies here. Got the gray, red, pink, and green. Um, the black shirt inspired by friends. And I also have the Texas Southern shorts. Can I, can I, can I just pick this Go ahead, up, man. man. Go ahead. You got Look. it. You got it. My bad. My bad. Look at the shorts, man. Yeah. Look at the shorts. So, um, I have, I have maroon. I have black um, coming in a couple of days. Um, I have gray coming in a couple of weeks. So, Look at we definitely move. <laughs> I'm trying to get one of these shorts. <laughs> and then one of them, them air backs over there, I got one. Yeah, definitely, man. Oh, so if you need anything, man, you can hit me on Instagram and DM me. If I don't have it, I can find it. Or if it's on my site, um, 
you can check out on the site and we can make we can do business man y'all check him out he has all this Please. stuff so give him check him out fuck with him y'all fuck with him here we go basically <laughs> that's really it <laughs> we would like to thank y'all thank robel thank dj lex on the ones and twos again until next time y'all peace